Union City Red. I suspected it was more fruit juice than wine. Definitely an improvement on the food dispensers they used to have here. Personally, I preferred an open fire for cooking. Displaying your health chart now. It has been two weeks since your last checkup. You have lost weight. Congratulations. It has been noted that your height has increased. Adjusting records accordingly. Scanning for medical implants. Error. Implant missing. Refreshing biomodification database. Please wait. Removing cardiac implant registration. Registering Shreveman port as new implant. The scanner had detected my Shreveman port, which allowed me to interact with Link, the city's old network. Since then, I'd pretty much forgotten about it. Adjusting your health rating from C to A+. I was considerably fitter than Graham. That was good to know. Give me a checkup. Scanning. Your physical health is within the top percentile for a Union citizen. Congratulations. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. Do you have any advice for me? A single can of Spankles contains more than your daily dietary requirements. Look for the clown. Drink Spankles. Keep a smile on your face. Thanks. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. What devices do I have installed? You possess a U-chip personal data implant in the perlicue of your right hand. It is functioning correctly. Your cardiac regulator implants have been marked as removed. Please return them to your nearest medical waste facility. You possess a Shreveman local interneural connection port in the third cervical vertebrae. This hardware predates the Minos system and cannot be accessed at this terminal. That's probably for the best. You are welcome, Citizen Graham. That's all for now. Due to the alteration of your physical parameters, a new uniform has been ordered and will arrive at your home shortly. Keep a smile on your face. I was a lot healthier than Graham. In fact, I'd say Graham was downright unhealthy. I had made some headway, but I still needed to know about Graham's work and social standing. After 10 years in the gap, I'd almost forgotten what a toilet looked like. There was a boot print. Curious. So Graham was... a cleaning supervisor? The logo on the uniform was quite distinct. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. A box had been hidden outside the window. If I could get the window open, I'd be able to reach that box. Personally, I preferred an open fire for cooking. At least one person in the city appreciated a nice cup of coffee. Although I doubted Union City Blend contained even an ounce of actual coffee beans. A shelf full of sports gear and awards from years gone by. Rhythmic Gymnastics first place. That looked like Graham and his wife on their wedding day. They looked blissfully in love. Amethyst or purple glass? Either way, it looked expensive.
fairy tales, courtly romances, and art books. Hello there. Chipworth, wasn't it? Master Graham, may I say, sir, is looking even more fabulous than usual today? Why, thank you. Has Master Graham lost weight? Maybe. Does Master Graham look like he's lost weight? Oh, yes, sir. And it would appear sir has gained some height as well. Bravo! Tell me, Chipworth, who was that woman just now? But that was Sir's wife, Madam Songbird. Yes, of course. Uh, my wife. Is Sir quite feeling himself? It can. I've just been having a difficult few days. How serendipitous that the well-being mentor is here, then, is it not, Sir? Chipworth, tell me everything you know about me. Request respectfully decline, Sir. But aren't you my butler droid? Yes, Sir. I have been Sir's butler for a very long time. Then why can't you tell me? Standing orders, sir. Whose orders? You... Ah, nice try, sir. Almost had me. Graham had made sure his droid wouldn't talk. I had to do my own investigating. I need you to do something for me. Just say the word, sir. Please, can you tidy up the apartment, Chipworth? Very good, sir. Hello, Chipworth. Hello, Master Graham. Who was that guy in here when I arrived? Is Sir referring to the gentleman currently probing your wife in the bedroom? Uh, I guess I am. That would be the Honorable Mentor Alonzo, Senior Officer at the Ministry of Wellbeing. I believe that he would like to see you next. He would? Mentor Alonzo indicated that there were one or two anomalies in Master Graham's records. Public voting, kudos levels, employment, whereabouts within the city... Just some minor things, then. Consumption patterns, bio signs, indication of physical existence... I think I get the picture. But I'm sure there's a simple answer, Master Graham. A woman? Can Sir possibly be referring to his good lady wife? Humor me. For instance, her name would be... Madam Songbird. Clearly, Sir is not feeling quite himself today. Sir might recall he even forgot dear old Chipworth's name earlier. Who? Uh, me, Sir. So, what do you do, Chipworth? Whatever Sir desires. So if I told you to set fire to something, would you do it? Sadly, sir, one's capabilities are restricted to the minutiae of domestic service. Shame. We are what we are, sir. At least as far as anyone else needs to know. This mentor, what will he ask me about? The Ministry of Wellbeing is always concerned, sir, with a citizen's well-being. Well-being? That's right, sir. A citizen's health and happiness, their relationships and social life, all of the utmost importance to the Ministry. He might also inquire if Sir needs any support in the workplace or similar. Why exactly was I selected? I believe Sir's two-week-long work, poll, and social hiatus may have raised some concerns. Just be yourself, Sir, and you will be fine. Of course, because I am Graham Grundy. Goodbye, Chipworth. Have a very special day, sir. Excuse me, please. The trees in the gap weren't as pretty, but at least they were real. The pictures were all of Graham's wife. They were photochemical prints, taken using an old-style film camera. The retro technology had managed to blend songbirds seamlessly into the fake backgrounds. The photography was impressive, but the subject didn't look happy. The pictures in the apartment told a sad story, a blissful romance that had soured with time.
Something told me the fire was not authentic. was hit by the acrid smell of chemicals. I wondered if Graham self-medicated. Giant scorpions in the sewers, real or fake? <laughs> Unlikely. The tentacle monsters would have eaten them years ago. When I came to Union City ten years ago, this was very much the case. These days, I wasn't so sure. Anti-Hobart propaganda. Some things never change. A printer? It was rare to see one of those. You can tell a lot about a man from his shoes. In this case, that the man had no taste. A sword? The blade was cracked. Developing fluid in trays. I hadn't seen gear like this since I was a child. It looked like one of the land trains from the city walls. It was a detailed model. An impressive collection of medals, ranging from bravery to long service. Most of the medals dated back to before I was born. A security forces copter. I still had nightmares about those things. Twice I'd flown in them, and both times they'd crashed. I hoped I wouldn't have to risk it a third time. A uniform like the one Graham's wife wore. It was cut for someone much larger. I needed to find out who he worked for. If I slipped up, I'd be exposed right away. The box was for a deluxe hollow plinth replacement lens. There was nothing inside. I wondered if the people knew that Hobart agents had helped me save their city. A cavalcade of cryptids. Someone believed in monster stories. Espionage during the Hobart Wars. Nice to see the propaganda was still around. How to survive a war? Better just to not be around to see them. I couldn't access Graham's messages. I added that to my list of things to look into.
a chart showing that Graham's Kudos score had recently dropped. I wondered what had caused such a sharp decline. I had gathered quite a bit of information about his health and social situation, but I still needed to know exactly what he did for a living. The council was made up of five ministries. Each ministry had their own logo and distinctive color scheme. From the color of his uniform, it was clear that Graham worked for the Ministry of Comfort. I had learned all I was going to from Graham's apartment. I hoped it would be enough. If I was going to convince the mentor, I had to be sure I knew enough about Graham. I couldn't keep them waiting any longer. From that point on, I had to be Graham Grundy, cleaning supervisor. Darling, I thought you were going to freshen up. I was, but I missed the sweet sound of your voice. Oh, Graham, always the romantic. But please don't kiss me until you've showered. Wouldn't dream of it. Besides, I couldn't let Alfonso hear. Alonso? Monopolize my lovely wife for a moment longer. In which case, shall we begin? Of course. Shall we take a seat in the lounge? It was now or never. So, Mr. Grundy. Mentor Alonso, what would you like to know? Ah, oh, well, straight to the point. I like that. As I was explaining to your dear wife earlier, there have been some issues with your activity records of late. Issues? What do you mean? Mr. Grundy, a word to the wise. This will be much smoother if you leave the questions to me. Now, whilst your records load, remind me, in which ministry are you employed? Comfort. I'm a cleaning supervisor. Yes, of course. Ah, here we go. Graham Grundy, 42, cleaning supervisor with the Ministry of Comfort. Cleaning supervisors require Class C exertive activity certification. I trust that your health rating is sufficient. I did drop down a bit, but I'm back to Class A plus now. Excellent, excellent. Very good. So, with that in mind, I will mark you as fit for work, barring any other issues. Now, obviously, your kudos level will have fluctuated due to your absence. You're a C-plus right now. I note you used to be much higher. B. Yes, well, you'll be back up there in no time. Well, that is all I need to check off. But I'd be remiss if I didn't offer you all the extra support and guidance that you need. Mentor? When someone goes off-grid, there's usually some underlying trouble. And as a mentor, I like to think of myself as a bit of a troubleshooter. Of course. I appreciate the concern. So, let's get to the bottom of all this confusion. Dig a bit deeper, eh? Deeper? Yes, right. By all means, Mentor. Tell me about your workplace. I trust there are no issues. The land train facility. It's a fine place to work. I'm sure it is. Department of Land Trains and Extra City Commerce. Wonderful. Oh, yes. Couldn't be happier. We are, of course, very grateful for your service, Mr. Grundy. But there we come to the crux of the matter. Your absence. Fifteen days is a, a long time. This is, of course, why my ministry has become involved in your case. We have been concerned for your well-being. I'm fine. Better than ever, in fact. <laughs> Excellent. Now, speaking of your health, I note you had some surgery last year. Tell me about your implants. Are they working effectively? You mean my heart regulators? 
Nothing to worry about. As you can see, the beat goes on. Yes. Well, I must say you're in remarkable shape considering your medical history. Of course, your mental well-being is just as important to us. How are you getting on with your <laughs> rather peculiar hobbies? You mean my photography? I do, yes. You can't beat the feeling of an old-time film camera. I can imagine. You have an eye for composition. Although, I don't understand your interest in using such archaic technology. Choosing to fiddle with knobs rather than availing of ministry-recommended filters, stabilization, automatic... If we can't see what you create, how can we share in your interests? What can I say? I like a challenge. I'm sure you do, Graham. Ah, oh, well. I have a busy day of appointments, so sadly we must conclude our little chat there. It's been a pleasure, Mentor. <laughs> Hasn't it? So with that in mind, perhaps you can tell me where you've been for the last two weeks. What? Right. Yes, where have I been the last two weeks? Well? Okay, so... the last two weeks. I was working at the land train facility, of course. Cleaning. I'm a cleaning supervisor. And while I was cleaning, I must have bumped my head. The next thing I knew, I was in the middle of nowhere, still on the train. Two weeks later, the train returned to the city. Cleaner than it's ever been, I might add. My poor darling! How awful! What a dreadful thing to happen! I believe I have all the answers I need from you. Well, that's a relief. <laughs> I'm sure it is. Mr. Grundy. Well, thank you for stopping by. Uh, j just a teeny tiny thing before I go. There appears to be one or two anomalous results here. Anomalous? That doesn't sound good. <laughs> it may be nothing. But here's the thing. I get strange readings when I scan your YouTube. Any idea why? Mm, maybe it got damaged when I fell. Ah, uh, yes. Of course. That's probably it. You see, the only other time I've seen anything like this is when a U-chip has been tampered with. No one would have done that now, would they? Tampered with? I didn't even know that you could do that. Graham's a supervisor, not a subversive mentor. Yes, a supervisor, not a subversive. Damaged when he fell. Request analysis. There. Perfect. I have everything I need. Great. Chipbot will show you out. Chipworth, darling? <laughs> Just my little joke. Chipworth. Good day, Mr. and Mrs. Grundy. I don't know who you are or what you've done with Graham, but I think we got away with that. I hope so. I don't think that we would get away with it a second time. Nor do I. If there is anything wrong with Graham's U-chip, you would better sort it out, Sharpish, before Alonzo's analysis comes back. Who even are you? Where's Graham? Are you that contact he kept ranting about? Whatever Graham had been up to, it had gotten him killed. I had to come clean with his wife. There's no easy way to say this, but... I'm afraid Graham is dead. What? How? Where? I found him. In the Gap. The Gap? What was the idiot doing in the Gap? Was that where he was always sneaking off to? Ugh! A child, Milo, was abducted from a village out there and brought into Union City. And I think Graham was somehow connected. Sure. And pigs fly. Listen, stranger. I'm sure you can understand, this has been a rather harrowing day. This is all too much for me right now. Tell me about it. So, I'm gonna do some damage control on social media. In the meantime, I guess that officially it is your home, so you can stay, but... This is my bedroom, and that one is yours. No cute ideas. Understood. Songbird seemed rattled by the news. Not surprising. But whoever this contact of Graham's was, I suspected they were the key to finding Milo.